agus falta roimh galair. My name is Abby, and you are very welcome to my Celtic corner, where each episode I'll bring you to a faraway land called Ireland. We'll hear about incredible Irish myths and legends, beautiful musical instruments, traditional Irish songs, and maybe even learn some of the Irish language too. Today, we're going to visit the north of Ireland and learn about the incredible Giant's Causeway, inspired by, you guessed it, the largest giant in Ireland, a percussion instrument called the Baron, and sing a powerful Irish song called Magilla Mar. So have your ears at the ready while I bring you to a northern county of Ireland called Antrim. There once was a giant named Finn McCool who, for the most part, lived a quiet life on the northern Irish coast. One day, a message arrived from across the sea in Scotland. Another giant, called Benendonner, claimed that he was the tallest, strongest and most fearsome giant around and he challenged Finn to a battle. Finn was not one to back down from a challenge, so he laid down the gauntlet and accepted. He built a raised road above the water all the way to Scotland, made out of chunks of rock from the coastline called the Giant's Causeway, just so they could meet and do battle. However, on his way to Scotland, Finn spied Ben and Donner in the distance and realised that his rival was much bigger, taller and stronger than he had first anticipated. Finn decided that he didn't want to fight Ben and Donner anymore and ran back home as fast as he could. Finn found his wife Una at home and explained the terrible mistake that he'd made. Una quickly devised a plan to dress Finn up as a baby and put him into their son Ushin's cot, covering him with a shawl. Just then, there was a loud banging on the door. Where's Finn? Ben and Donner demanded. I want to battle with him now. Una timidly opened the door and said, Finn's out at the minute herding the cows. Why don't you come in and wait for him? and I'll fix you a cup of tea. So Ben and Donner sat by the fire, waiting for Finn to return, and drank his tea, growing more and more impatient as time passed by. Suddenly, Ben and Donner heard a noise from the next room. Ha! said Ben and Donner. He's hiding in there. Ben and Donner leapt to his feet, clenched his fists, and pushed open the door to the room where the noise came from expecting to find Finn. Instead, Ben and Donner saw a huge, gigantic baby in a cot. Ben and Donner paused, looked to the giant baby and to his mother several times, and then his face went pale. Ben and Donner gulped and realised that if Finn's baby was so big, imagine how gigantic and strong Finn is going to be. He immediately ran out of the house and then home, all the way across the causeway, tearing it out behind him to make sure that Finn wouldn't be able to follow him. Thankfully, Finn McCool didn't have to battle Ben and Donner that day, thanks to the quick thinking of Una. You can still see the remaining part of the causeway today on the coast of County Antrim and in Scotland on the island of Staffa. What do you think a giant would sound like walking around his house? When I try to imagine that, all I can hear is bomb, 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 which I think is very close to the real thing. In Ireland, we have a drum that makes a similar sound to a giant's footsteps called a baron. It's a handheld drum that almost looks like a large tambourine without the cymbals around the edges. It's held on its side where one hand is placed against the inside of the drum head to control the pitch and timbre. The baron is played with a stick called a tipper. The player wraps the tipper against the drum and depending on where the tipper hits the drum or where the player's hands lays against the drum on the other side all affects the pitch and timbre of the sound. The pitch of a note means how high or how low a note is while the timbre refers to the quality of sound similarly to how a piano and a guitar can play the exact same note. But the quality of sound from both of them is completely different. Listen to this example of the baron.
Like most percussion instruments, the baron is very powerful, and when used in song, it adds an energy that will have the listener up and singing or dancing along. One song that we like to sing in Ireland is called Magilla Mar. It's about the great Bonnie Prince Charlie who was defeated in the Battle of Culloden in Scotland in 1746, almost 300 years ago. Bonnie Prince Charlie was fighting for Ireland and Scotland to make them independent, but sadly he lost the battle. The song Magilla Mar means My Gallant Darling and tells us how brave and great Bonnie Prince Charlie was to have tried so hard to help Ireland and Scotland. Earlier on, I spoke about the Giant's Causeway, the feud between Irish giant Finn McCool and Scottish giant Ben and Donner, and how they were against each other. But this song, Magilla Mar, brings the two countries together in honour of their gallant, bonnie Prince Charlie. So, this traditional song is sung in Irish, and it's accompanied by the powerful drum called the Bauron. I'm going to speak the chorus, which is in Irish, and I ask you to listen really closely as later on I'll invite you to sing along with me. She Maleach Ma Yilla Mar She Machaser Yilla Mar Ni Horus Fain Ain Thuin Na Shain O Hui Again Ma Yilla Mar This chorus means My gallant lad is my hero. He's my hero, gallant lad. I found neither sleep nor happiness since my gallant lad went far away. I'll say it once more so you can listen to the Irish words again. She maleach ma yilla mar. She macheser yilla mar. Ni horus fain ain thuin na shain. O hui again ma yilla mar. This time I'm going to add the melody, so please have a listen to this. She maleach ma yilla mar, she ma heiser yilla mar, ni war is fain in tuin a shain, o hui again ma yilla mar. It has such a lovely melody. While the song is sung, there is a powerful rhythm in the background that is being played by the bauron. It keeps the energy lively and tells the listener when the chorus is going to come back in so they're ready to sing along. This time, we're going to add in the bauron, so it might sound a bit different. Listen to this. Ni war is fain in tuin a shain, O hui again ma yilla mar. Wow, the baron makes it sound so powerful. So now, will you sing along with me? If you can't remember the words, don't worry, you can hum instead. She ma leach ma yilla mar. She ma heiser yilla mar, ni war is fain in tuin a shain, o hui again ma yilla mar. Thank you so much for singing or humming along with me. Wasn't that just the best fun? Today we learned all about the Giant's Causeway, the powerful Irish drum known as the Bauron, and how to sing the chorus of ma yilla mar. I'm so glad you could listen and sing along with me. Thank you so much for being a part of my Celtic Corner. Gurev Mila Mahalgwiv agus Salon Gafol. Abby's Celtic Corner is a production of the International Children's Arts Network. You can learn more at icanradio.org. Special thanks to producer Sarah Zwinglis. Production assistance provided by Stephen Joynson and Kevin Wims. This episode featured Bauron player Connor Lyons. The executive producer is Suzanne Nance and I'm your host, Abby Malloy. Music